Hey everyone, it is Joy Presley here. I am coming to you today to show y'all how I get my garden started. Every year we usually do a garden that started off with um, Justin sunflower seeds. I know that y'all have probably seen pictures and everything of the sunflower seeds that we do every year, the mammoth sunflower seeds. Well, we've already started those, but I wanted to just kind of give y'all an idea of how we do things every year. Now, typically I use a seed starter and bathroom cups <laughs> um, it's not the fanciest thing in the world but it works well um, but this year um, I've decided that I was going to cheat a little bit and instead of using the seed starter and bathroom cups I have here this Jiffy greenhouse you can, and it comes with 72 compartments here um, as you can see, I already have a couple of things started. Um, I have bell peppers, tomatoes, and I have the sunflowers started right here. We're going to do 10 sunflowers this year. It also comes with these little hockey puck looking things here, dried out hockey puck looking things. And these are just the little um, pods to fill. Um, and they have starter in them already. They're basically seed starter packaged in little hockey pucks with a fabric on the outside to kind of hold them together. So it comes, this tray here comes filled with these and I bought this for about maybe like $6, $6.72 or something like that at Walmart. Um, so like I said, I already have a couple started here already and I'm just going to show y'all how to get your seeds started and I'll try to come back at least once a week just to kind of give y'all an update on our growing process. Um, so what we're gonna do today is I'm going to grow some sweet banana peppers. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and get these started today. So I'm gonna grow a couple of those plants. Um, and we're gonna start off from, from the very beginning. Oh, look, the bee likes me. Hello, bee. And um, we're gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how to get started with these little seed starters here. And that's what we're gonna do all right so I'm just gonna put this to the side because even though you can put water directly inside of this tray here I typically don't do it because I have no intent on filling this entire thing okay why is this bee like hanging around okay anyway <sighs> occupational hazard I didn't do a Facebook live all right so um like I said we already have a couple of things started here and I could pour this um, pour the water directly in here but I don't do that because I don't want to necessarily fill the entire thing I'm not going to put um, put little pods in each one of these and doing it outside of this gives me the option to control where I want these a little bit better than filling it up on the inside but it's just a matter of personal preference our bee friend has come back I wonder if it's because I have honey <laughs> like in my hair products um, all right so let's go ahead and get started with that this is going to be the funniest video because of that bee. The bee wants to be a star. I'm going to just sit that over to the side. All right, so what I have here is I have a mini, um, a mini pan. Um, it's like a mini loaf pan, and I'm going to use that to get my little pods started. And I'm only going to do about four um, because I think that four banana pepper plants would be plenty for us. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So the directions for these say that you want to use about an eighth of a cup per pod. I don't really measure because that's just, I'm not about that life. So I have some warm water here and I'm just going to pour it in here. It says if you can get a close up. So I have it with the little circles up. And the, that's the top of it. And I'm just going to pour some water in here. And I know that light is probably reflecting. And this goes pretty quickly, actually. Can you see it okay, Tess? Mm -hmm. All right. 
and I don't pour it on the tops of them because yesterday when I poured it on the top, well two days ago when I poured it on the tops of them what ended up happening is that the seed starter when it started to um when it started to, to moisten the um, starter inside it started to spill out so I just didn't want to spill my seed starter so as you can see they're already starting to expand and get taller and it doesn't take long at all and I use warm water because that kind of speeds the process up a little and the reason that I don't measure the water that I pour in is because just like the directions say, if you got too much water you can always just pour out the excess water so we're just gonna wait for those to soak up the water I'm gonna add a little bit more just let it soak soak it all in and I think watching this is kind of cool too but I'm a little bit of a nerd so and the great thing about these is that um, you actually once once you get these the um, get them rehydrated you probably won't water your seeds for about a week and then it when you do it'll just be like a light mist because you don't want to water these unless the pods turn um, light brown just like they were in the beginning my bee friend has come back all right so as you can see there they're pretty uh, well hydrated here I could squeeze water out of them so they're pretty well hydrated so now that we have them hydrated we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my camera over here I'm going to go ahead and start to put seeds in it so I'll open my seed packet and the directions say to put one to two seeds um, per pod um, and that's what we're gonna do and typically even when you're planting in ground you want to put at least two seeds per um, area mm -hmm. Wow that bee is really close um, okay we're gonna have to take this inside pause all right so we have come inside because of our crazy bee friend we all have that one friend um, ours is just the bee today all right so I have um, my little pods here I have them hydrated and I've poured off the excess water so what I like to do from here is I take q-tips and uh, not q-tips goodness gracious um, toothpicks that's what I mean to say toothpicks okay so I have toothpicks and I just kind of make a little circle in the middle here I'll pick it up so I'll make a little circle in the middle just like so can you see the little dip that I made in there? And it really depends on um, how far down you're going to go is going to be dependent on what your seed packet says. So my seed packet says that we're going to plant these about a one-fourth of an inch. So I'm not going to go too far down. Um, maybe just a, a little bit there. Okay. So now I'm going to take two seeds and I'm just going to drop my two seeds in just like that. And I'm going to cover them up. I'm just gonna pick that up so there we go so I've covered them up just like that and I'm gonna do the same for my next one I'm going to make a small hole in the middle and sometimes you'll have to rip that um that fabric a little just to get the seeds and stuff in and to make your hole but these seeds are tiny so it doesn't really matter you don't have to and I'm just going to cover that back up. And these have plenty of water in it, so they should be able to um, get those seeds opened up in no time. All right. Take a couple of seeds. And when these plants start to grow out, what you're going to do is, and yeah, I know some people just hate the idea of wasting seeds. And I get it, I do, because I'm cheap like that. Um, you're actually going to keep your stronger plant, the one that looks better, and then just snip off the top of the weaker one, you know. 
strong survive. And I'm gonna put two seeds inside of that one as well and cover it back up. And this is a much cleaner process than what I what we usually do because my seed starter is already packaged in little pods already. So now that I have these started, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put them into my Jiffy case here, my little greenhouse, and I'm gonna turn this around. Now, if you can see, I have these already labeled. Like I said, you know, doing this outside of the container gives me the option to put things where I want them and not put them close together and not water everything when I'm only trying to water one thing. So now I'm just going to stick these in here to maybe we'll just go in a straight row. All right, so I have four here. And I'll put my little sign on the outside to say banana peppers and we'll watch these grow. And um, like I said, this is basically it for starting the seeds. Um, and we will just take this Jiffy cover here. We'll put it back on and I'll sit this back outside. I'll, you want to make sure that it's in a spot that gets some sun. And we'll wait for it to grow. So I'll be back next week to show y'all progress on how my seeds are growing. All right, so we have finished with our seed starter. Our bee friend is still out here, so we're not gonna stay out here very long. But um, if you have any questions, just leave them below. Comments, just leave them below. And if you like our hilarious video with our bee friend, hit subscribe. He's around here somewhere. I think he has a crush on me, y'all. There he goes. All right, so we'll see y'all next week and show y'all the progress of our plants. Bye, thanks for watching.